Salamat Paggy and welcome to yet another day on the epic Java adventure. I'm here just north of Baniwangi at Grand Watu Dodol and uh, today I'm going to go off on a snorkeling trip to uh, Menjangan and Tabuan Islands. So uh, it's a bit grey and cloudy but uh, I'm sure it'll be great so see you in a bit. So I'm standing here right on the edge of Java, the most eastern edge and that over there you can see is the island of Bali. So you can see how close the two islands are. So there's ferries that ply the trade between uh, Java and Bali, 24 hours a day, and it really doesn't take long to get there. And just on the horizon there, you can see one of the islands that I'm going to be visiting. So again, not too far away, a bit further away than Bali though. Okay, I know, Menjangan Island is technically Bali, but we uh, went from Baniwangi, which is in Java. So I'm on the little tiny boat now to the first of the islands. Uh, and it's now I realise that like a moron, I've left the uh, GoPro charger at home. So there'll be no underwater photography today. Now the boat is very small and it does move around a lot, even on the flattest of oceans. So uh, if you're prone to seasickness, maybe want to sit this one out. So first up is uh, Palau Menjengan, um, which is like an island just off the coast of Bali actually. It's quite far from Banyuwangi, but very, very close to um, the Bali uh, National Park here. Uh, there's quite a lot of coral on the beach, also a fair bit of rubbish as well, which is quite a shame. The island does seem to be like a popular destination for day trippers from Bali. Well, Menjangan Island is the closer of the two to Bali. And it has some of Bali's best snorkeling and diving. We stopped at two snorkeling spots at Menjangan Island. The first was quite far out in the open water, and the second one was a lot nearer to the island. Both had some really great snorkeling. Now I know I said there was going to be no underwater footage, but I did manage to get one of the guys from the boat to do a little bit of video for me. It's not the best though. The coral and the fish are a lot more interesting though than shown in this video. It doesn't really do it justice. After the snorkeling, the next stop was Tabuan Island. All there is on the island is a small warung and a lighthouse. Well, this is Tabuan Island, which is between Bali and mainland Java. And at first glance, it looks quite nice. But sadly, with it being so close to Bali and Java, it suffers from a litter problem. As everything just washes up on the beach here, people throw rubbish into the rivers, which then ends up in the sea, and then washes up on beaches such as this. It's a real shame. We had a pretty good day snorkeling, actually. Uh, absolutely loads of fish. Um, Quite a lot of coral as well. It's kind of uh, a lot of dead coral though towards the coast as you got closer to the actual co um, beach of the island. But it was pretty impressive. Um, just a real shame that I was a moron and left my uh, GoPro charging cable at home. Well, so uh, you'll be seeing some lovely pictures of fishes right now. Well, this is another quite backpacker friendly place uh, here in Banyuwangi. Uh, it's quite, quite close to the Ejen Backpacker Hostel. Yeah, it's about 100 meters away, so if you ever stay in there, this is quite a good place to go and grab yourself some food. Osing Deles is more of a coffee shop than a restaurant, I guess. It doesn't have as much in the way of Banyuwangi style food as Shrengengi Wetan, but it is quite nice and it does have live music sometimes. And this is the second best hostel in Banyuwangi that I know of. Well, that's another day over in which I've managed to get completely sunburnt like a rookie. But uh, tomorrow, off to Ejen, have a look at a few waterfalls before doing the crater at night. So until then, Sampai Jumpa Lagi!